welcome 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 <clears throat> this will be weekend energy um i have a little pep in my step i have not been feeling great i got a little respiratory thing going on so i'm gonna try to push out weekend energy for you guys and um i will be live as soon as i can okay so let's start with um let's start with earth i'm gonna start with taurus virgo capricorn Chances are you might be feeling the full moon. I'm starting to. Which is all good. Just don't forget. Okay, so Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Weekend energy, please. Weekend energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Weekend current energy. Okay, so you have the Source Dragon. Okay. And Sunshine Yellow Dragon. This is nice too. This always comes up when you should really work with the elements of animals, outdoor, birds, squirrels, that type of stuff. Healing, respecting them, understanding them. Okay. Um, make sure you get outside. Source dragon attunes. Okay, so I think what this is trying to tell you is obviously be in the moment. It's all about being in the moment. So we'll see what that's really trying to tell us. I'm going to pull one lesson. <clears throat> Basically, your infinite being you, right? Be still, be patient. Magic can happen. Be in the moment. You know, Wusa if you can. Spend some time outdoors if you can. You most definitely should. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, please. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Persevere. So push through. Okay. That came in on Soul's contract. When this comes out to me, this is basically the little engine that could. You know, you think you can. You think you can. But it's more like, I know I can. I know I can. Okay. So... push through okay I do feel like with some of you this is kind of hermit mode but I wouldn't worry about it so if you feel like blah like nothing's happening Magic's happening. All right, so don't don't be down on yourself. And if you are in that type of energy, get outside. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, please. Taurus Virgo Capricorn weekend energy. <clears throat> Got the lovers. Might have to make a decision. Might got somebody on your mind. Could have a sacred connection. Could be rekindling with a lover. Or there could just be another lover. You might have to make a choice. You have the five of wands. Okay, drama. So this is telling me you might want to take a step back. Because right off the bat, this is telling me there's a lot of drama around you and someone. Competition. Too many people in the picture. Arguments. You know, say you're around people. It's competitive energy. So I start with Capricorn. So you have pants. Okay, you have the three of pence. So there's probably a third party. Because there's there's no teamwork here. You can't have teamwork with too many people in the picture. There's too much chaos. <clears throat> Could be in some type of contract. That's not going very well. 
There's too many people in the picture here, troops. And you got the tower. Okay, so... And you have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. But but look at this Ten of Wands. It's like, what are you doing? Carrying all this weight. You know? So, it looks like the universe... Unless you're dealing with a Scorpio, but if you ask me, it looks like the universe is interfering. And meanwhile, you know, let the universe do what it is they do. And you do your best to push through, go outside. Because I feel like it's like, might be, I mean, I wouldn't engage in the drama. Because this card's all about, you know, being still and, you know, silent and letting the magic just happen. You know, be in the moment. And it's looking right outdoors, right? Just persevere, push through, don't let other people's energy get in your way. And I know it's easier said than done, troops. This is a lot. It's a lot to handle. It's argument. There's too many people in the picture. You know. When the tower comes in, you know, it's either the end of something or it's the, it's the universe interfering. Tell me what the tower is, please. The tower. You got the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a new cycle. There's a fool. There's a fool here. Not like as a fool like that, but like the, there's a new cycle. Okay, so this most definitely is the universe partaking. Okay, best advice for the five of wands. I mean, my best advice that <clears throat> I personally can give you. You might, I don't know if you want to engage in this type of energy. You got the seven of cups, you know, so... You could be confused, but this is your best advice. So, you know, it's staying open-minded, but it's also talks about options, being strategic. I hope no one's looking at you as like an option. Because I would just take yourself out of the equation. If somebody wants to keep their options open. I feel like it's just a lot of, you got the star, the seven of wands, and the eight of cups. Somebody could have took themselves out of the equation. Too many choices, too many people. I still love this. The lovers, you got the death card. So that's that's an ending. Okay, so there's there's definitely an ending. This can also be a transformation. I guess it just depends on where you stand because there's just there's too many people in the equation right now. I, honestly, I, I, I say just let the universe do what they're going to do here because there is a need for a new cycle. So, looks like the universe is going to interfere. So, if you need to do the whole hermit mode versus engaging in drama, then do so. I will clarify the death card so you know if that's a new beginning or a complete ending. Because if this is a third party scenario, you're going to want to know the dynamics. But again, if it's a third party scenario, I don't know how do you really know what's this death card. That's way too many. What's this death card? I wouldn't settle this weekend for anything. Cupid's arrow in abundance. 
Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, meeting hesitation. Okay, keep it in abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So basically this death card is saying that there's going to be a transformation. So... What's this tower? That means it's got to be someone's. This drama needs to be knocked out. You got the runner. Okay, a runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, or listen to their ego. So, like I said, the universe is definitely going to come in and interfere here. And this is five of ones. Karmic relationship, triggers, resentment, letting go, okay, lessons. So it's, it's like an ending of an old one and a renewal of something that was present. I don't know if it's present anymore, okay. I saw the Eight of Cups, so I'm not, I can't give you, you know, the exact details, but um, just try to keep yourself out of the drama. Be, be more strategic about your moves. It definitely looks like a relationship is going to transform and get better, but one needs to completely end. And, and there's a, there's a karmic in the middle of this. Okay. So <clears throat> let's move forward. We did earth first. <clears throat> let's do let's do air. And what are that? Twelve twenty two. So let's do air. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Weekend energy. Current weekend energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, please. Weekend energy. <clears throat> You have Thor's red and black gold dragon protects you from times of change. A time of rapid transition and transformation. Relax, you are safe. <clears throat> Get some water. Play a lesson. So basically, you're going through some change. And it's, it's probably tough. This is going to be a quicker change than you think. So just kind of woosa. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, please. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have relationships. I attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay, so that means right now you might be hanging out with people you should not be hanging out with or you're hanging out with the right people. This can go either way because this it persevere was simple. Okay, you can either you know sit by a stone and do jack shit and tell yourself you can't do it. Okay, or or you can. This is this is a little different. Okay, um, this is being around like-minded people. So you're either hanging out with the wrong crew or you're not. So that's that's tricky. That one's tricky. I mean, I'm surprised that didn't come out with the earth signs, <laughs> with the drama, you know, all those other people. So. But 
Jesus is also saying right now. Be careful. Be careful who um are you allowing to partake in your energy. And the devil is just at the bottom of the deck. Reminding me of Mr. Krabs. All right, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, weekend energy. So, Page of Swords. Which is the Prince of Swords. So, you're either watching somebody, somebody's watching you, there's definitely some spying communication that wants to be had, but it's probably not having, not being had, and that makes sense, because now you got the four of pens, so somebody's holding back, okay, um, it does look like someone's being a little greedy right this second, okay, It's the two of wands. I'm just looking at the depiction. It's funny how all those depictions are going this way. But he's only got one hand on one wand here. But there's a new path. You're definitely at your crossroads. Holding back. Observing, watching, wanting to talk, but not. It's almost like someone already chose their path. Something about that that's weird to me. It's like, it's fire, right? You're down to one want. Someone's real close to picking a brand new direction. I think because someone's holding back. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, please. Weekend energy. Justice. And it's like the hangman right this second. I mean, there could be a Libra in the picture, that that's, but that's not what I'm thinking. Like, to me, there's there's going to be some type of justice here. Something's going to go in someone's direction. Okay. What is this page of swords, please? What is this page of swords? Magician. So it's... It's powerful energy, right? But I, I feel like it's it's tricky right now, like because at the bottom of that you got the five of swords. So it's like manipulation. So this magician right now is slick. It will figure out a way to pull a freaking rabbit out of a hat. So be careful. Because the magician energy is is powerful energy. But it's not being used properly right here. It's just watching. No one's creating, no you know what I mean? Like it's it's tricky energy, it's sneaky. Well, not necessarily sneaky, but definitely tricky. But with the Five of Swords right there and the Nine of Swords and... It's... Uh... Alright, what's this Four of Pence? Let me just see. 
You guys' energy is all over the place this weekend. You go from one energy to another. Not that that's a bad thing, but again, careful who you're choosing to hang around with this weekend. And you got the Empress. So the Empress is holding back. Or somebody's holding back from the Empress. Because then you got the Seven of Swords underneath the deck. So again, there's something deceptive here. There's something tricky. Someone's not telling you how they feel or what they see or what they want. I, I felt it all in this one card. What's this Two of Wands? I want one more where the King of Earths came out. So I don't know if the King of Pens is trying to choose a new path. Looks like karmically maybe choosing the right thing. Two of Wands. Could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You got the Emperor. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Lovers, Five of Swords. <sighs> so there's a couple here. There could be another man involved. Could be a lawyer, could be talking about divorce. But there's still something tricky. And wasn't the cat from Alice in Wonderland like a tricky cat? What is this magician? The fool. So this energy wants a new stop, but they're holding back. There's still somebody else in the picture. What's this justice? One more for justice, please. Could be dealing with somebody who's older, somebody who wears a suit, somebody who deals with law. To me, it's... Mm. So hang in there. So to me, it's probably something karmic at this point that has to do with your past and a broken heart. So careful who you're hanging out with. Seems to be a karmic weekend, that is for sure. What's up with this Emperor and Empress? What's up with this Emperor and Empress? <clears throat> What's up with this Emperor and Empress, please? The Phoenix, a new phase, a rekindle, transformation. I mean, this could be a rekindling of a relationship. This could be a husband and wife. This could be two entrepreneurs and I like you so one you could be a mom they could be a father so there's a new path being taken what's this justice so it looks like something's going in someone's favor Justice. 
You could be meeting somebody new. They could still have a contract going on, though, because it's like you're choosing a new path or they're choosing a new path. Sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, upheaval, transformation. So there's something underlined you're not aware of, and the universe is telling you to still have strength. What's this full magician energy place? Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future, yearning. See, there's something there, like someone's watching. I still can't figure out that pile, like someone's watching you. Could be somebody from your past. But there's definitely something new here. And it's something out of the blue. Looks like someone chose a new direction or is about to choose a new direction. What is this relationship? Because I feel like whatever is going down with this relationship card, I feel like you're hanging out with the wrong people. There's too much stuff under, there's, there was too many icky cats underneath um, everything I was clarifying. So self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship. Yeah, see, there's something someone's not seeing. <laughs> So there's definitely some type of separation going on. There's definitely some type of narcissism happening. People are definitely hanging out with the wrong people this weekend. But it's almost like there's like a shocking revelation. Something's going in someone's... Something good's coming to someone. So if there's somebody you liked, someone you wanted a new phase with, it looks like something's going to happen. And it goes in your favor. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do fire. Let's do fire. Got fire. Alright. What are we at? 27, 27. <clears throat> 12, 22, 27, 27. You should look up all these symbolic meanings if I think about if I think about it. At the end of the video, I'll uh, look them up for you real quick. So Aries, Leo, Sag, weekend energy, current weekend energy. <clears throat> I want one more, but you get the blue galactic dragon. So basically, listening to your inner voice. Okay, so Aries Leo Sag, please begin energy. Aries Leo Sag, begin energy. Okay, expand your crown chakra. It's going to help you walk a spiritual path. Or it's basically saying, I think something's about to be illuminated so you can walk your higher path, whether you look at it as spirituality or not, if that makes sense. Just trying to get you to see your higher self, where you're supposed to be, type energy. Standing in your own power, your own truth, your own wisdom. Learning your own higher wisdom. Expanding your brain. Aries Leo Sag, Aries Leo Sag. You have acceptance and loneliness that came out. So you can either choose to feel lonely and know that you're not alone, okay, because there's always someone around. And acceptance, I'm learning that you cannot change certain stuff, okay? So there's, to me, obviously there's something that can't be changed and it looks like you're not accepting it because you're, you're the lonely card is here. Or this is someone you're dealing with that can't accept it. And there's, there's a lot of, uh, <clears throat> and someone's not talking. There's, um, whew, 
You can either choose to feel that loneliness or you can accept what's happening and, and make a situation better. Choose where your happiness lies. Accept the things you can't change. Okay. Love you. Mm -hmm. There's the Assange. Look at energy. Didn't flip it, didn't flip. Here is your side. So you have the Knight of Cup, Knight of Pence, Knight of Coin. So somebody wants to offer something or there's some type of message, but this is slow. It's slow energy. Okay. You have the six of cups. You could be dealing with somebody from your past. You got the seven of wands. So feeling pretty. You're just on the defense, but you're ready to battle too. So defensive energy. So you're talking to somebody or there's some type of message coming in. It's going to have to do with your past or somebody from your past. You got the page of cups here. So there's feelings involved. So I don't know if someone blocked you. You blocked somebody. What does this Knight of Pence want? What does this Knight of Pence want? So you're either dealing with somebody from your past or you're dealing with children this weekend. But to me, this looks like you're dealing with somebody from your past. Your past is going to roll back around or this is somebody you're already dealing with. Okay. The Empress looked like it wanted to pop out, but it didn't. Page of Swords. So you're talking to somebody from your past or vice versa. You're also keeping a really sharp eye on someone. What's going on with the Six of Cups? Got the Emperor. What's going on with the Seven of Wands? So somebody's not saying something. With the two of cups. Okay. You're definitely talking to somebody this weekend, somebody from your past. But then you have another energy here that's like, you have an energy of a, a block, like hermit, like somebody's not talking to you. But you got feelings for somebody. You also, there's another situation here where it's definitely a, a mutual connection.
To me, somebody already chose a path here. So the emperor wants to offer something. I think somebody might got feelings for somebody else, although it's being blocked. But there's already a situation here. What is this? What is this? Um, what is this? Page of Cups, please. Page of Cups, please. There is Leo Sag, Page of Cups. Okay, there's three of them. I can't see that. Page of Cups, please. One for the Page of Cups, please. Butterfly, relationship evolving, going to the next phase, healing, growth. What is this? Two of Cups. Because I don't feel like that's the same energy. It could be wrong, but I don't I don't think it is. I think there's already a connection. I think the past is still in the present moment and it's blocking a connection. One card, please, for two cups. Because it's almost like you got feelings for somebody, okay? It's almost like you got feelings for somebody, but it's being blocked. And you got a girl with a snake, narcissist, being charmed, not having enough boundaries. So there's something shady here going on. Okay, camera popped out too. Keepsake perception, learning from the past, making memories. Are you learning from the past though? Because you have a relationship that's trying to evolve over here. Okay, trying to go to the next phase. But you have a girl with a snake down here. So to me, you're already, you have two connections happening. And one connection's being blocked from blossoming. Because you have somebody else that likes to enable you or, or not have, there's no boundaries. So what's this Knight of Pence? <clears throat> Just one for the Knight of Pence, please. You're definitely going back and forth with the, with the past or somebody is watching you trying to figure out how to come back in um, or there's like emperor type energy light of pence please because there's there's two connections here that's that's not good so this Knight of Pence needs to take action with something to do with, with their past. Tell me about the Emperor. No. What's this 
now? What's this now? Three of Cups. Seven of Cups. Then you got the Empress. So it, it's like no to an Empress type energy. So like I said, there's already a connection here. In the girl with the snake, it could be the feminine that's being a little manipulating. And whether you see it or not, to, to me, you don't see it. It's, it's keeping you in a situation that's, that's no good. And she could be keeping her options open. Stressing you out. Okay, so there's a lot of underlying stuff with you guys here. There's somebody from your past, you be whoever you're watching, keeping a close eye on, you should be taking action in that situation. You got feelings for that person, but it's being blocked because there's another connection here. So it's like that energy is just something going on over here. I, I don't know if it's like you don't want to feel lonely or you're worried somebody else is going to feel lonely, but it's like you need to accept what's, what's happening here. You know, because there's a, there's a connection that's trying to evolve and, and trying to go to the next phase, but it's, it's being blocked because there's another connection. Could be husband and wife, but if that's the case, you know, there's some narcissism here. There's definitely some manipulation, you know. Um, surprised the codependency card is not out here. Okay, so just be careful. To me, I think you'd be fully aware of this scenario because it's like the story was already there. Sorry, I just shut the door. All right, so moving on. Let's do water. Let's do water. What are we at? 4211. Already schneidies. All right, what up, Kansas Scorpio Pisces? Weekend energy. So sorry, fire. It didn't really look like there was. There was. It's like a story that's already there. You know. So. That's, that's tough. Okay. Cancer Scorpio. One came out, but I'm going to get another one. Cancer Scorpio Pis Pisces, the Alpha Dragon. Okay. So it's your masculine power. It helps you manifest a whole new world too. Destroy the old and visualize the dream. All right. And then you got Thor's Black and Red Dragon. Protection in the time of change. You are safe. Didn't water have that? Oh, we did water. Maybe Earth. Thank you. You got three. Another one popped out too. All right. Connect you to your highest light. I want to say that was actually at the bottom of this. Okay. So you might be in masculine energy this weekend, like alpha. Okay. So not really saying you need to worry about it, but um, a strong energy. But I love it. It's destroying the old and, and making sure you're visualizing your dream. So positive energy is super important. Sacral chakra might be being activated. There's definitely some change going on. Basically saying you are safe. The death card and patience want it to come out. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, please weekend energy. Adversity. I accept all challenges is the best way to learn. Okay, so you go in for a challenge. Careful with the um, it's pulling me back to fire, guys. Sorry. Um, you're communicating back and forth with your past, so just be careful there because there's there's two connections there. Could even be three connections, four connections, because if 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 one already has two connections, how do you know if that other people don't have a connection too, right? So, Cancer 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Four Cups. So I don't know if somebody's going to come back around, try to offer you something. It doesn't look like you want it. Yeah, you're not having it with the Five of Swords. You're, you're taking it like as, as a loss. There it is. Could be arguing, you could be arguing this weekend, or you're just cutting your losses. You got justice, you could be dealing with the Libra. I forget who else had that. You have the Tower and the Hangman. Holy cannolis. Holy Major Akana. Coming up for the water. There might need to be a sacrifice. Change of perspective going on here. Because it's, it's almost like, think about what you really want here. Because the Four of Cups does talk about boredom. Okay, like what is it you really want? Because it looks like the universe is giving you something. And right now, you're either bitching about it, arguing over it, feeling defeated. It's narcissistic energy. It is, there's some karma on the board. The, in, the universe is interfering. Hang, it's like two kinds of wake-up call. So it's you're definitely going through a challenge. Okay. Um, tell me about justice. I think when I used the other cards for justice, it was a karmic relationship wrapping up. Just want to use this deck real quick. We got the Emperor. It could be dealing with somebody who's in a Libra energy. Leo. I mean Aries, Libra. Or this energy is getting some type of justice. Looks like somebody's moving away from a situation. Because you got the four of wands, six of wands, four of wands, six of swords, eight of cups. Looks like something's wrapping up there. What's this tower? It actually looks like something's going to go in your direction. Wasn't that the same as before, too? No, that was different, but it's it's a new stat with the Two of Swords. So it might feel, you might be feeling, something's at a stalemate, okay? Something's not moving. There's, it's definitely a challenge in weekends, okay? It's like because somebody wasn't making a decision. It's time for a new cycle. It's time for a new start. What's this saying, man? So you got something coming at you, so be aware. Yes, yeah, definitely challenging weekends. Who had a good reading, was it? I mean, they're all alright all right readings, you know. It's just, I'm trying to think, like, Earth seemed less difficult. I think I want to claim Earth's reading this weekend. <laughs> alright, so you got the four of wands. I mean, the eight of wands. So it's, it's communication. Okay, so whatever this is, there's something coming at you, this communication, but this Five of Swords does not look good. Looks like arguments or just feeling defeated. You've had enough narcissism. It's 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 something. It's, unless this is somebody who wants to win at all costs, but I don't know. It it's kind of looks like a stagnant situation. you got the Hangman and the Two of Swords. Nothing's, nothing's moving. Right this second. And that's why the universe is coming in. Like, let's go. Anything you want us to know for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? Just no communications coming in. And um, just be aware this is your energy or somebody else's energy. It doesn't look that fantastic. 
You have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Well, that's underlined. That's for sure. Because the cards are not saying that. So you must be arguing with somebody big time. You got golden mirror and self as well, narcissistic, one-sided relationship. That makes sense. I see that all damn day. So you have, you probably have a choice. You want to be with a self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, or do you want unconditional love? Because it looks like you're falling in love. So if you have two people, you need to make a choice. If you're on the outskirts and it's somebody else that needs to make a choice, you're in a challenge. You, you are put in a, a compromising position and that must suck for you. Because I don't see all lovey-dovey energy here. But I do see the universe making sure something goes a certain way or they're certainly going to try. All right, but be careful because the, the communication that's coming in is is one-sided. Someone's not seeing something. So it looks like energy of, of arguing because somebody's at a stalemate. Somebody's not moving. And there's another energy here that's loving unconditionally. So let me make sure, I'm just going to pull a card for this kisses to make sure you're not being played. Making sure that... That's like a scenario you want to see stay involved with because it, it doesn't mean give up just because it's a challenge necessarily right what's this kisses what's this kisses please can't just go feel Pisces kisses healing family issues so that could be linked Romantic feelings worth exploring. Let me just get one more. So I, I feel like that healing family issues is a big sign. Okay. Um, it could be something that somebody else is dealing with. You got letting go of control issues. Okay. So you might have to make a sacrifice with this hanging man trying to control a situ situation. You got reconciliation. Somebody from your past is returning or it's already in your life. So it doesn't look negative. Okay, it's, it's not saying anything where it's giving me a red flag. You're just in a very challenging situation. It looks like you're dealing with somebody to recapture romance, allow you in a child to shine. Okay, so it doesn't look negative. I think you're dealing with somebody who's dealing with a lot of negativity. There's a lot of negative energy around somebody. Or this is just you guys arguing. Hang in there, guys. I'll be back soon, okay? It's just a little bit of a challenge. You'll get through it. I don't see anything that I really need to... You know, you destroy the old, visualize the new. So be positive. You're going through a rapid change here. There is communication. I just don't think it's it's going good, right? It's not it's not lovey dovey. It's, it's argumentative energy. But it looks like the tower energy will pay off. It's just a little bit of a challenge in weekend. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great weekend, and I will see you as soon as I can. <laughs>